What's up guys? We are headed up. Uh, finally dragged Chase out of his hollow. And then we got three deep. Headed up. Gonna be our last weekend, so should be a good one. We're not going home till at least one sled's total. Figured the road would be muddy, but it's actually pretty dried out. Just a little dusty, but she looks pretty bare. Hopefully we can get into something. Yeah, let's do it. 45 degrees. as far as we could up here and uh, they're coming but we're gonna see if we can walk to the top of this mountain I would guess we're at like I don't know 4,000 feet or so this is one of the biggest mountains around here and they're all like 4,200 so we'll see getting our workout in we're at the top or we could go across there yeah it ain't what very much Holy smoke. yeah how many hundreds of miles do you think? <laughs> Just wanted to take a selfie with this 4,000 foot view. Wow, <laughs> it's beautiful. There's a good snow up here at 4,000 feet. Just ate lunch. That's where we went, but we're gonna go back down into the trees. Well, you can't really tell, but this is a pretty steep drainage. I got the high mark with the pro rails. But everybody got stuck at least once. Me going down. We're going to go try to find another spot like this. <laughs> really putting these... uh Backwoods rail braces to the test today sent me over. So roll it. Keep on going. Alex, I uh, thought it was a good idea to. You gotta hit it with some speed. What's up guys, day number two of the weekend. This is gonna be our last day riding. Um, we got Caleb, Keegan, and then Spencer, who we've never ridden before with, so. Gonna go try a different spot and give it a shot. Yeah, I did. That was friggin' bad. haven't done much for filming. Started off the day, uh, we were gonna have a small crew and film the whole day, but it was our last day and we just met up with some guys. So now we got a good group just hammering out some climbs. Uh, it's like 2.30, so we're gonna give it as long as we get too tired. Well, you got a snap day on. Just going to find this kid, and then we, uh, I don't know, snapped one. Guess we hit the same rock or something again, but. Make snowmobiles have trailing arms again. Yeah. <laughs> we're starting a campaign. Yeah. So, gives us an opportunity to show off our rigging skills. Yeah. Colby's wiring her up. Wow. 
I think we, got, we I think we just go back up on the hill. Yeah, we got the pro package now. Wire and rope. So long, old snowmobile camp. Got them loaded up. Gonna drive her home. Well, guys, that's a wrap for our 2020 2021 season. I just want to sit here and say thank you. Um, this season has been the best season we have had by far. Um, just some kids going out and screwing up their sleds and we've been able to meet all kinds of new people, work with so many great companies, or not so many, three of them, but we've met so many people and we just, I just can't thank you guys enough. Um, but I just want to shout out uh, Judge Gear and Walter Beasley. Uh, I highly recommend you guys doing business with them or even just looking into them. Um, heck, you can message Walter Beasley, the owner, and he'll talk with you. You know, there's not really any other company out there that can offer that with the high quality gear that he offers. We ride through trees all year and our gear takes beating and Alex's has lasted him two seasons. Uh, mine, I just get a new one because I had the opportunity to. So I'm like, yeah, I want a new suit. We rode in their helmets this year, and honestly, there's nothing wrong with their helmets. Um, they got beat pretty hard, too. Another big shout out is uh, back with BMP, Ryan Hayes over there. He hit us up mid season. My sled was in shambles. Um, it was probably totaled by the insurance company's status but he hooked me up with um, a bunch of bracing equipment that they sell drop brackets bumper and I was able to straighten my sled out and it's better than new now and those those two guys um, when I need something help advice anything they're my first call you know Walter I know I've known Walter for like a year now he he helps me out he's got my back whenever and I just got to know Ryan and he takes the shirt off his back for us any chance he gets um, another big shout out to Ravex Motorsports they helped us out big time this year um, I put pro rails on my sled I didn't really touch on that Pro rails on a Chaos skin is definite. You gotta have it if you have a Chaos and you want it to be a little more predictable. Um, tighten up the luminous straps a half inch in the front uh, and run it. I love it. Still comes around, but it's awesome. And then I just wanted to ask you guys what do you want to see over the summer? Because we have some plans going on. We like riding bikes, but we're really awful at it. Um, thinking maybe dirt bikes, something to do with boats. And let us know in the comments down below what you want to see. But I got some other videos stockpiled, snow mailing videos. If you want me to post them, I can. But I kind of want to wait till full time comes because we don't get snow as early as other people do. So thank you guys very much for this amazing season. What a ride it's been. Please leave a comment. No, thank you very much.